What is the work of God that we are to do? This is the work of God that God wants us to do. Jesus just said it, the last line of the gospel, just one second ago. You just heard it. What was it? To believe. To believe. You know, and, and, and I have said many, many times that the gift of faith is not an accomplishment, but it is a response to a gift that's given, that God gives us the gift of faith, but we do have to embrace that gift. We have to believe. And so we strive to believe. And what is it that we believe in? And, and I, I hope that, you know, above all, uh, as I have said a thousand times, and, and uh, you know, Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And so we believe in the way. We believe in truth. We believe in life and eternal life. We believe in these things. That's, that's kind of fundamental components of what it is when, when we are supposed to accomplish the works of God, to believe in the one that he sent. And, and not, not in some sort of kind of just abstract way, but a concrete way that affects our, our daily life. We must be believers and followers of the truth. I, I declared my ways here, here in the responsorial psalm today. The responsorial psalm today is from Psalm number 119. 119 is the longest psalm. It's, the, it's very long, many, many verses. I should know how many verses. I don't know how many verses it is, but it's by far the longest of the Psalms in the, in the book of Psalms. And it is one long hymn in praise of the law. It's, a pra it's, it's this long hymn, it's this long poem in praise of God's law. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. The way of truth I have chosen. The way of truth I have chosen. So we believe, what is the work of God that we must do? To believe in the way and the truth and light. And we set the way of truth before us. Now what's happening in the Acts of the Apostles today, you know, and again, I don't want to, I do not want to condemn the members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, but they have made up their mind that Stephen is the bad guy. They have made up their mind. And they are going to see to it that Stephen is put out. In the same way there was an effort to put out the light of Christ. They, they killed Christ, right? Trust me, Stephen, I've read the book. Stephen is being set up. Something's fixing to happen to Stephen tomorrow and the next day. Just, we should hear echoes of Jesus' trial here. They presented false witnesses who testified, this man never stops saying things against the holy place, that would be the temple, and the law. That was the same accusations against Jesus. They weren't dedicated to the truth. They were de dedicated to their preconceived notions that Stephen's the bad guy. And they closed their minds. My brothers and sisters, we have to, we have to pray this responsorial psalm. We have to pray this psalm. We have to pray it earnestly. We have to pray it in humility. We have to pray it frequently, whether we use these exact words or not. Remove from me the way of falsehood. 
Remove from me, Lord God, the way of falsehood. Whatever is dark, whatever is false, whatever is wrong in me, Lord, remove from me the way of falsehood. Favor me with your law, the way of truth I have chosen. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And what is it that we are supposed to do? What is it that we have to do to do the work of God? To believe in the way and the truth and the life. The way of truth I have chosen. Can we say that? Can we mean that? Can we believe that? Remove from me, Lord God, the way of falsehood, the way of truth I have chosen. It's got to be our prayer. I don't think it was the prayer of the synagogue of freedmen. I think their prayer was, let us get rid of Stephen. So, Lord, spare me from that error.